Welcome to Base Payments YouTube, your knowledge base for accepting payments. In today's video, you're going to learn how to set up your sales tax rate on your Clover Point of Sale system. Let's get right into it. Setting your sales tax rate is really important, especially when it comes down to reporting. You want to make sure you know exactly how much you have to pay in sales tax every quarter, every month. And that's why you want to make sure you set up your sales tax rate correctly in the Clover Point of Sale system. This video is sponsored by Merchant Tech. If you're interested in getting a Clover Point of Sale system, click on the link below to get $200 off your first order. Make sure you use the coupon code BASE when you're checking out. All right. Let's jump right into the how-to video and get started. All right, let's get started. Make sure you're at the home screen. Now what you want to do is select the setup app. Now select taxes and fees on the left. Now select tax rates and fees. Now you'll notice you have no tax rates listed under tax rates and fees. We're going to go ahead and add one. Select the plus button on the bottom right. Now we're going to need to name the sales tax. For our example, we're going to name it sales tax. Let's go ahead and type that in. After naming the tax rate, you want to make sure that it's set as a tax percentage. You can view the options here. You'll also notice there's an option for flat fee. This comes handy when you have a CRV fee that needs to be associated with recyclable items. But in our case, we're going to stick with tax percentage. This is generally default. Let's select that. After doing that, you're going to want to set your tax rate. Go ahead and select the tax rate field and enter your tax rate. For our example, we're going to enter 8.5%. Let's do that. After entering your tax rate, below you'll notice an option, default. You're going to want to check that. This will make sure that every item you have listed in the Clover Point of Sale system that's been set to default tax rate will have this tax rate applied to the item when it's being rung up. Go ahead and select that. After that box has been selected, hit save. Now you'll notice a sales tax rate shows up. Sales tax, 8.5% default. Now let's make sure this tax rate has been applied to an item. Hit the home button. Now let's assign that tax rate to the inventory item. Open up the inventory app. Select an item. Now on the bottom right, you'll notice that the sales tax of 8.5% has already been set to this item. That's because we have set this as the default tax rate. So let's select that and see what we see. You'll notice there are three options here. Default taxes and fees, custom taxes and fees, no taxes and fees. This is where you want to make sure default taxes and fees are selected. This way, anytime you make changes to the tax rate, it will automatically change all across your items. Custom taxes and fees will allow you to add multiple taxes and fees to one specific item. Let's take a look at that. If you'll notice, there's only one option here, sales tax at 8.5%. If we had created more sales tax options, they will show up here. You would be able to select multiple taxes and fees on one item. But in our case, we're going to select default taxes and fees. Let's do that. Now let's hit save. Now let's ring up this item and see how the tax rate calculates. Press the home button. Select the register app and ring up an item. You'll notice hamburger, the item cost is $6.19. You'll notice below the tax is being calculated at 53 cents. That's 8.5% of $6.19. You have now successfully set up the tax rate in your Clover Point of Sale system. I hope you found that video useful and you're ready to start setting up your sales tax rates. Just a side note, if you need to set up your menu items after you've set up your sales tax, we have made a past video on that. Just click on the link above and you'll be able to watch that as well. It should be useful. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below if you have any questions. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the link below and check out our sponsor Merchant Tech. They have every Clover device available. See you guys on the next video.